Greetings gamers and welcome to part 1 of this level 53 to 54 levelling guide and in this levelling guide our tip of the day said visit a pet battle trainer if you want to collect battle companion pets. I think that's probably something we should have a quick go at before we do anything else. Right now, battle pet trainers can actually be found sort of all over the place, but in Stormwind, I think they're located near where the balloon is. Uh, I will go there in a little bit, but first, let's take a look inside the mailbox and see if there's anything that needs to go back on the auction house. only money so the um, things that I put on the auction house hasn't expired yet so it hasn't been 24 hours since I put any of the things on. Right so let's go look for these battle pet trainers. Let's get a flying mount because it's okay to fly in storm wind. Right, so we're going just a little bit north of the Dwarven district. And there's the balloon. Okay, so I think there's a battle pet trainer somewhere in this area. The one I actually remember used to sell cats or sells cats, but I'm sure there are others. Is that the one? That does not look like. Nope. Emma's, that's Chromie! Oh, Chromie, bless. Chromie's a member of the Bronze Dragonflight, uh, and they are the Keepers of Time. So if you actually wanted to play through some of the other expansions and, and not go through the Warlords of Draenor expansion as I did, you could actually go through Chromie Time and expand through and uh, level up through one of the other expansions. But only if you've leveled the way I have first. Then on a future character you can talk to Chromie and level up in a different way. Oh, Owl Trainer, that'll do. My goods are of the highest okay, so you buy your first battle pet from one of these battle pet trainers. You don't have to visit them all the time, but once you've got one, you can start gathering as many as you like from around the world. Watch over you. I've already got them, so I can't get any others. My um, pet journal is already full. Okay, so let's have a look in the pet journal. So go under collections, the pet journal tab, and there are my pets. So I'm going to take those big ones out and put some little ones in. Okay, so I've got three little ones. I only actually need the one little one, but... Oh, that cute cat. I want to stroke the cat. Let me stroke the cat. Come on, cat. Kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, that doesn't like me. Oh, hissy fit cat. Kitty in a hissy fit. Right, let's go search for track pets. Now, if there are any here, they would show up very prominently on the minimap. Now, there used to be loads of rats all over Stormwind. But I'm not seeing any. I'm looking on my minimap. And I'm not seeing any battle pets at all. I'm just making sure I've got track pets up. Yeah, I have. And no pets at all. That's that that's surprising. They used to Stormwind used to be riddled with rats. Somebody's been putting down rat traps. 
And here are some battle pets just outside. A rabbit and a fawn. Okay. Let's get the rabbit. Okay, so the rabbit's level 2, my pet is level 1. Okay, so at this level you only have the one skill, and you usually win, so you don't really need any actual thinking involved, but uh, you will find some pets are faster than others, and some uh, are the ones that are faster get to come in first and make their um, choices, um, but when you level up you get a bit of experience if you're not already uh, maxed level. And that's basically all there is to the pet battles. Well, actually, there's a heck of a lot more to pet battles. Uh, and there are people who do whole YouTube videos on pet battles and how t and what sort of strategies to win and stuff. But at low level, it's, it's very, very difficult to lose. Okay, so that's the pet battle. That's what that tip of the day was all about. Um, how to do your pets. So let's get into the world and... Start leveling. Oh wait, before I do that, I want to go to the Dark Moon Fair. I just want to go and see Kerry Hicks. I want to see if she's got a quest for me, because I already turned it in. I'm kind of hoping she's got another quest for me. Which will be a repeat of the same quest I've just done. But I saw some uh, a herb. Peace Bloom. I'll pick that up. Let's head on over to the Dark Moon Fair. Let's see if she's got another quest for a thousand grizzly tokens or however many it is I need to hand in. If not, then that quest probably only crops up once every uh, month, so I'll have to check back at the next Dartmouth Fair next month. By which time, of course, I may well be already max level. That was due to inattention, it's not due to my trackball that time. My trackball works perfectly, thank you. Kerry, where are you? Oh, you don't have a quest for Can me. I help you? That means that it's a monthly quest if you turn it in. So if you don't do it that month, that, or that week that you've got the Dark Moon Fair up, and you turn it in the following month, then you have to wait another month before you can pick it up again. So it's definitely one of those quests you want to try and hand in the same Dark Moon Fair period that you pick it up. So you pick up the quest and turn it in before the Dark Moon Fair goes, otherwise you don't get to pick it up the following month. Okay, that's good to know. Right, so I think it's time to go out into Bastion and carry on with our Bastion storyline. Since there are some people on jacks, I might as well just check my inventory, make sure there's nothing that I need to sell. No, my inventory is fine and my gear is fully repaired.
The purpose reviews our way. Right, so in the video before last, because last video we were playing around at the Dartmoor Fair, uh, we managed to get hold of a piece of the Hand of Loyalty's spirit. I think that was um, Lysonia, I think she was called. Uh, the Hand of Purity uh, extracted it, or the Paragon of Purity extracted it from her. Uh, and we were supposed to take it to a place called the Mnemonic Locus, in order to extract her memories and find out what was going on. Uh, so we need to go find the mnemonic locus uh, by the most direct route possible, which for me means getting distracted by every single herb or mineral I find. Access to the Locus is currently restricted. But I made you! I am the Forge Light Prime! Oh no. We may be too late. I am a busy steward. Chasing a memory. Mechanicos gestures irritably towards the Forsworn behind him. Are you here to help fix this? I simply demand perfection. Look what they have done to my centurions. To the Locus. Mechanicus gestures ang angrily at, well, everything. Directions not included. Look at this place. What a mess. The Locus is inactive and these Forsworn have taken over. 
We need to restore the locus, but I do not know how. This place is not of my design, built long, long ago. Luckily, the previous Forge Light Prime was prolific, recorded everything. If we can find her designs, I can certainly work it out, even without Nemesis' help. Look around, plenty of scrolls strewn about. Meet me near the locus when you find what I need. The Prime... The Prime's Directive. Oh. All Centurion are made to serve the Kyrian. That they now work against me, the Forge Light Prime, is an insult to all Centurions in Bastion. Look at them, Praetors, Goliaths, all purple. I hereby give you permission and expressly order you to extract their cause. I will repurpose them in a fitting manner. I will reclaim their anima to power the locus. I can build more. Do not pity. I have high standards. You do not want to talk about it. But yes. Down your weapons. An intruder. Lay down your weapons. My task is complete. Intruder! Your conduct is unacceptable. I don't have a card. I need to target something.
Forsworn, protect me! Surrender or be destroyed. That cannot recover. You to return those I could have probably to found a dozen Only a needles in a dozen haystacks in the time it took to find that one scroll. Once, or you will be removed. Yeah, 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 that's an empty threat when I've already killed loads of them like you. I'm going to take your power, core if that's alright. And even if it's not alright, I'm still going to take your power. Oh, you're a rare spawn. That complicates matters ever so slightly, but the outcome is going to be the same. I seem to be ex experiencing an error. Oh dear, have you tried Control or Delete?
Oh, shame. Very nice trinket, but that would be suitable for a caster. It wouldn't be suitable for me, so a mage or a warlock or maybe a priest or a, uh, a druid in moonkin form, something like that. Definitely not for a hunter. is unacceptable. I know, I didn't have to come here. I was just curious as to what that was. I thought something that heavily guarded must be worth something, but apparently not. Alright, so that's those two quests complete. I just want to check that I haven't missed anything. Well executed. I saw a resource on my mini-map. It'll either be a herb, or it looks like a herb. Now I need to figure out where to go to turn this in. Oh, that was easy. What marvels exist on your world? You find correct scroll? Directions not included. You found it and other interesting tomes as well. They will be properly catalogued when we are done. Clean up after yourself. You have the cause? Excellent. Their anima will be put to better use. Some say I am particular and I think this is probably a good place to break the video, so from me, Big Fat Hairy Gamer, have a good one.